Welcome back, Game of Thrones fans. In this recap, we're diving into Season 1, Episode 2, The King's Road. Get ready for a thrilling journey through the Seven Kingdoms as we unravel the key events and provide a detailed analysis. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things Game of Thrones. Now, let's jump right into the action. Tyrion doesn't like his dwarf status in the house and berates Joffrey, who is being insulting to Brandon's severe injury and refuses to honor the House of Stark with his presence at his prayer service. Tyrion keeps hitting Joffrey till he agrees, to offer his condolences to the House of Stark for the death of Ned's sister. Joffrey is adamant and Tyrion only hits him harder. Tyrion also tells Cersei that he spoke to Maester Lewin, the head of the House Guards, and that Brandon might survive. Tyrion wants the boy to survive, but Cersei and Jaime believe that it would be cruel for the young boy to live on as a cripple. Tyrion had no clue she is having sex with Jaime. Having accepted his new role as King's Hand, Ned leaves Winterfell with his daughters Sansa and Arya, while Caitlyn stays behind to tend to Bran. The unconscious Brandon is attacked by an assassin, but his dire wolf saves him. The assassin's blade is made of Valyrian steel and dragon bone handle. Caitlin decides to go to King's Landing to tell Ned about the attempt and suspected Lannister involvement. Jon Snow, Ned's illegitimate son, heads north to join the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch, protectors of the wall that keeps the White Walkers and the Wildlings from entering civilized Westeros. The Night's Watch have guarded the wall for 8,000 years he is influenced by his uncle's Benjen Stark, who has been guarding the wall for many years now. Jon chooses this path as he doesn't feel connected to anything in his real life and wants to be part of an elite group to give his life meaning. Rob and John are very fond of each other and bid each other goodbye. John asks Ned about his mother, but Ned refuses to answer. Later, as Robert and Ned chat and relive their youth, Ned tells John's mother name, Wyla. As a parting gift, John had given Arya a thin sword she later names Needle. Tyrion Lannister, Cersei's brother, decides to forego the trip south with his family and instead accompanies John's entourage to the wall. Tyrion says that rapers are given a choice, castration or serve at the wall. Most people chose the knife. Robert tells Ned that the Targaryen house has aligned with the Dothrakis via Daenerys, but Ned dismisses it as the Dothrakis have no ships to cross the sea. Robert reminds Ned that Daenerys's father was responsible for war in their kingdom and for the death of his queen and Ned's sister. If Targaryens cross the narrow sea with the Dothraki hordes, the rebels in their kingdom will join them. War is coming. Caitlin visits the tower from where Brandon fell, or thrown by Jaime, and finds proof of a long hair which means someone was there when Brandon was thrown, she is now certain it wasn't an accident, and that he saw something that he wasn't meant to see. Caitlin consults her sons and maester and decides to leave for King's Landing to warn Ned. When Joffrey threatens Arya and her friend, Arya was playing swords when Joffrey challenges the friend to a duel. He is about to injure the boy when Arya hits Joffrey, Arya's dire wolf defends her, provoking a conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters. Joffrey was having a stroll with Sansa when the incident took place and she is called in for her testimony. In front of Robert, Sansa gives testimony to say that Joffrey's versions of events is the truth and Arya and her dire wolf are at fault. To resolve the conflict, Cersei demands that Robert order Ned to execute Arya's dire wolf, but as Arya has sent it away, to save it from retribution, Sansa's dire wolf is killed in its stead. Meanwhile, Daenerys focuses her attention on learning how to please Drogo. But the Dothraki are tribesmen and primitive, they eat horse meat, and Daenerys is a delicate princess who struggles with a rough life. She instructs one of her chamber maids, who was earlier in a whorehouse, to teach her how to please men. Daenerys learns that she doesn't have to be a slave in the bed and manages to seduce Drogo. In Winterfell, Brandon awakens from unconsciousness. And there you have it, folks. The King's Road, delivered some intense moments and set the stage for what's to come. Will Ned Stark uncover the truth behind Jon Arryn's death? How will the strained relationships between the Starks and the Lannisters play out? And what lies ahead for Daenerys and her dragon eggs? Trust me, you won't want to miss the next episode. So, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment below with your predictions and thoughts on the King's Road. And most importantly, don't forget to tune in for our next video, where we'll be diving into Season 1, Episode 3, Lord Snow. Get ready for more political intrigue, shocking revelations, and a touch of icy danger beyond the wall. Until then, stay geeky, Game of Thrones fans.